Alright guys, uh, got my Traxxas 4 Tech here. We went against the Rustler really hard. That guy had like a 4S or 6S battery in there. Reeves running on 3S. We have tiny tires, no modification on this. But we got destroyed. Alright. So we're going to go at another round. Not looking to win probably. But my tires are bold. Gone guys. This thing is really fast. The wing broke off. The body cracked in several places. So this is going to go for repair. I got cracks here. So we're probably going to glue it up really well. Got cracks all in the back. This piece I taped up a little bit. It flew right off. Alright. So I drilled holes for the wing. But anyways. Let's put this away. Let's take this wing. Put it away. And let's bring over a couple of things. This guy wants action. We're going to give him action with some Formula One racing. Right? Gonna adjust the body poses on this. Gotta lower the front. And I'm gonna put this on. And I'm gonna do a small little mod on this. Give me a few minutes. I'm gonna bring these body poses down and put this on so it's looking real nice. All right guys, the car is all set up. All right. This little bit of touching here is no problem. This is no problem. All right, I'm gonna probably push the posters up a little bit. Took off these from the front. Got the clips on. Beautiful, right? And we got our reform tires right there. The racing tires. We're gonna swap them. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my RC here. The Traxxas Fortec goes up there. There you go. And we're gonna take these tires and put them on. All right, we're all set. Let's move these over a little bit. So one at a time, guys. They're all the same size. Let me give you guys some specs if you wanna get these. All right. Uh, it's 26 millimeter, right? One tenth of scale, right? And they're the same, front and back. So I bought two sets, it's two in a, in a box. So you're going to get two in a box. I just don't know if uh, they might hit the rotor or not, the disc back there. But it shouldn't guys, it should not hit, alright? Because we got a lot of clearance here, alright? The offset is a little bit different because this one has offset but these don't. That's alright because this is only going to be for the racing, alright? And this is even going to go a little further, which is no problem for me. I have no problem, all right? It might not look the best, but it's going to perform really well. That's for sure. There you go. Let's go into another one. Alright guys, made a small little mistake. This one, I want to put in the front. The reason why I want to put this in the front is, alright, there's a reason why. Alright, I made a mistake telling you guys something wrong. One is 30, one is 26. So the reason why is, because the back one's gonna be a little wider. If I put them down, you're gonna see they're a little higher than the other one, all right? So they're a little wider, a little bit of different color, that's all right.
All right, guys, I'm gonna have to run to the hobby store. Whew, got a problem. It hits in the back end. If I put this on, it hits in the back. I didn't realize that till now. Yeah, it hits the back. Yeah, it, it, it's, it hits the, the upper control arm post. All right, so I'm gonna leave these alone. We're gonna continue, all right? We're gonna continue later. I'm gonna put these bolts there, put this there, all right? The hobby shop said he, he, he knew pretty much exactly what I needed, but sometime my friend Phil is not the best person to tell you exactly what you need, all right? So this is 30, I'm gonna put this back. All right, 26 fits really good, all right? 26 is no problem, but 30 gotta go back, all right? And we're gonna wait for it. All right, guys, so I was doing a video on this little guy, and we stopped because I got me a 30, uh, it's a 30 millimeter, they're too wide, they touch in the back, so I probably will get a, some kind of spacer down the road because I'm not sending these back. But I bought another one, the 26. We did do a few races against the wrestler, and the wrestler was not happy what this guy can do, all right? The wrestler was a beast, but let's continue, guys. I'm gonna, we're gonna go back into the track. The wrestler is not even gonna know if it's the same car or not, because now we're gonna have different body. And we're gonna have foam tires all around, right? So here's another one. You guys, if you haven't seen the video, go take a look of this car going against the Typhoon. Oh, my car flipped over and it skidded all. I was pretty much. I was head of the typhoon, uh, not the typhoon, head of the, I said typhoon because I got my typhoon right there. That's going to be going up into the track soon. So pretty much my Fortec here was going, beating the wrestler. The guy, I don't know, he slammed, the, he gunned it from the back and he was catching up and he hit my car from the back. My car got smacked, flipped over and it probably went 50 feet upside down all the way down there, right? Take a look at that video. You guys are gonna see that up there. It's probably already posted. But anyways, um, the back tires, I put this little line so we can see, I'm gonna be doing, you're not gonna see me, all I did was take a permanent mark. I put two lines there so you can see the tires are spinning. Let me just double check my tires. They're tight. All right guys, so all I need to do is well, I did lose body clips. Both front and body clip when that car flipped over, disappeared. All right? So there's all four of tires. This car, it eats tires, all right? That's how quick it is, all right? So here's another 26. There you go, perfect. Ah, uh, come on. Let's tighten these guys. Very simple, man. Simple little, little things you could do. Make the car into a beast mode. All right, guys, there you go. It's all ready. I'm gonna put this down to the floor and then you guys are gonna see it. All right, so let me get these tires out of the way. Save them. I never throw out my old tire. These tires are so good for me to use on a few laps. All right. And let's move the lift out of the way. All right. I did adjust a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm going to unadjust this and bring the car back to level, and then we'll see it. All right, guys. All ready. There it is. And this is going to be our next racing car against the Rustler. 